Hi everyone, welcome to Dr. Ho's online pad placement chart. We are going to go over some basic rules of thumb and some guidelines for placing pads on your body. The first thing to note is that you always want to have two pads to treat any area. The second thing to note is that we recommend spraying the pads with water before and after each use. So let's start at the top and work our way down. For headaches, neck and shoulder pain, we recommend placing two pads at the base of the neck and two pads on your shoulders. For effective treatment of headaches and neck pain, you must lay on your back with your neck supported by a pillow or a neck roll or a rolled up towel. For elbow pain, now there's two common types of elbow pain that people get. For something like golfer's elbow, you'll want to place the pads on the inside of your arm. So one pad closer towards the elbow on the inside, one closer to the wrist. And for something like tennis elbow, you'll want to flip your arm over and place the two pads on the outside of your arm. Again, one up by the elbow and one down lower towards the wrist. For shoulder pain, like frozen shoulder or rotator cuff injuries, we recommend putting the pads one in the front and one in the back of the shoulder. For wrist pain, we recommend using the smaller pads and to sandwich the wrist between the two pads. So you would place one small pad on top of your wrist and one small pad underneath. For hand pain, we recommend putting the pads on top and underneath your hand. It is important to remember that you never want the pads to touch. For hip pain, we recommend putting one large pad on the front of the hip and one large pad on the back of the hip surrounding the joint. It's important to note that you want to ensure that you use the bigger pads here because it is a larger muscle. For lower back pain, we recommend the large pads and placing them on either side of your spine, targeting the pain. It's important to note that you leave at least a one inch gap between the large pads and not to place the pads directly on the spine. For radiating leg pain or pain like sciatica, we recommend four pad placement. So two of the pads will go on the lower back and two of the pads will go on the buttocks muscle. This helps ensure that you get the radiating pain going downward. From there, you can place the pads either on your thigh. So you'll use two of the large pads on the front of your thigh for the thigh muscle or for sciatica pain, you can place two of the larger pads on the back of your legs. One pad will be on the buttocks muscle and one will be on the hamstring. For knee pain, we recommend sandwiching the knee with the large pads. You can put a large pad on either side of your knee. For shin pain, we recommend placing the pads along the side of the affected leg. It's important to note that you want to make sure that the two pads do not touch each other. For calf pain, we recommend putting one pad on either side of the calf muscle, one on the outside, one on the inside. Try to ensure that the pads do not touch each other on the backside. For ankle pain, we recommend wrapping the pads around the foot and ankle. One pad will go around the outside of the ankle while the other pad wraps around the inside of the foot. Please note for places like hands and feet, the pads may not stick as well due to the oils in your body. So you may need to hold them in place or sit down while doing this treatment. For pain in the bottom of your feet, like plantar fasciitis, or for circulatory issues like neuropathy, we recommend using our pain therapy travel foot pads or our circulation promoter base plate. Thank you for watching our video for recommended pad placement. If you have any questions, you can reach out to our customer care team at 1-877-374-6669. You can email us at drho at drhonow.com or message us via Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at, at drhonow.